I would tell soldiers that if you are dedicated to the team and your unit that, and, and your brothers, that they'll be dedicated for you. And that if the time comes, they'll risk their lives for you if you're willing to do it for them. Those are the heartfelt words of former Staff Sergeant Ryan Pitts, who will receive the Medal of Honor on the outskirts of the village of Wanot in the Nuristan province, just after 4 a.m. on July 13, 2008. The entire valley erupted in fire as at least 100 insurgents attacked a new patrol base at a nearby U.S. observation post. I heard a burst of machine gun fire to the north, and then RPGs or, or hand grenades or both rocked our position and simultaneously attacked a lot of other positions. And I think in that moment I knew with the violence that they attacked our positions and the volume of fire that I could hear coming in and what I could see that that was the attack, probably the, the most, what we consider probably the most dangerous course of action that the enemy could have, could have taken. Wounded by grenade shrapnel, Sergeant Pitts crawled from position to position in the observation post, refusing to give up the high ground even after fellow soldiers were killed. His wounds were so severe that a tourniquet had been applied. Now alone in the observation post, he stayed in the fight, repeatedly tossing hand grenades at oncoming insurgents and manning an M240B machine gun under a hail of enemy fire until other soldiers could respond. Sergeant Pitt says he was not going to go out without a fight. My goal, my personal goal, was just to try and kill as many of them as I could before they, they got me.